Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back for some more how to train your dragon and today we are going to have a very fun episode because I've got some epic plans but first of all guys let's check this out so we have our fire dragon here I just flew him down from his new area look at this guy whoa where did you just come from you are crazy looking you are a bold zombie now look what you've done you've gone and get yourself killed by Typhoon, I think, got the final little bite there. So that was a good job, guys. But yeah, we now have a name for our fire dragon. And look at that big tail. That's just that's just crazy. So I don't have a name tag yet, but the name is going to be Inferno, guys, because that is just a really, really cool fire name. So this is Inferno. This is Typhoon. You guys can chill there, although Inferno's now a bit antsy so let's just make you come on over or just stay there if you want and just sit down yeah just chilling out in the ocean for today but guys i have some really cool news for you and that is that there is a limited edition how to train your dragon t-shirt available now for you guys so that's going to run for 20 days the link is the in the description there it's a teespring campaign you can check it out you can get t-shirts or hoodies and that will finish at the end of December, which means then you'll get your t-shirt just after that. So it is a really, really cool t-shirt. Um, Josh or Inkbite did it, and we'll leave a link to his channel down below. You can go tell him how epic it is, and it looks really cool. So it's me with, or me and Toothless and Tiny Turtle with Sub-Zero, because we got you guys to vote before who should be in the t-shirt a while back. So that's there if you guys want to pick that up. That's a really, really cool t-shirt. But today, guys, we are going to start working on one of the first mini games that we wanted to do. So we said around Christmas time we're going to do like a seven day mini game challenge. So let me get Typhoon here and I'll show you guys what I mean. Going to start working on figuring out what we're going to do. Because I want to do one with Colored Sheep. That's a must because that was in the How to Train Your Dragon in the second movie. And that would be a lot of fun. But for this one, this is kind of like the main event one that I have the idea for. Okay guys, so as you can see, up here where we were building the clouds for the sky dragons, you can see two um, squares over here, and this is going to be part of the dragon race. Now this is going to be like a treasure hunt race type of thing, it's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm thinking of having it as like the main event. So I think we'll, we'll probably either start here or make a little starting area here, and we're going to have to go through the map that we have so far, and it's a race to get a specific item, so a group of specific items. So let me show you what I mean. So we'll start here, we're gonna fly up over the cloud, and we need to get through this one first of all. Oh, we got through that one, and we got a turn. There's gonna be a load of different hoops and loops that we have to go through on the way. We need to follow that line. And I was thinking if we get to here, I wanna do like a quick dive down. So let me see, can I dive? There we go. Diving down over here into the Netherrack area. And I want to incorporate like a load of different dragons. So the start of the race, um, you're on one dragon, then you could come down here. Let's keep on going, keep on going. And let's say you finish on Typhoon here. We gotta go in. It's like this is a race between me and Tidy Turtle. So we gotta come in here. There's gonna be a chest with an item. So let's see what item. Let's take this magma cream, for example. Actually, do you know what I might do? I might go and decide what items we're going to use right now. Because that'll be cool. Because then I can start putting them in place. So the idea is... Oh, you got to sit down. you got to make sure your dragons sit down as well. So um, they don't follow you around. But yeah, that that's kind of like the basic start. You go through the loops. Come in here. This is going to be the first treasure hunt item. Then we're going to go up through the map. In You'll probably have to talk to like the librarian to get another item. You'll have to go into Sub-Zero's area. It's going to be pretty cool. So let's decide what items we're actually going to use. I think the magma cream is definitely going to be a good item to use if we can get another one of those because it looks like a cool little like ball that you would throw around and uh, we could kind of go with that theme. So let's see, um, let's take a separate chest, let's see if we've got some more spare wood. There we go, let's make some of that and let's make ourselves a chest. Um, I'll make a double chest and this is going to hold the items for the games guys it's gonna be fun so let's put this here and we're gonna need one more magma cream but that will be two magma creams there let's do two blaze powders was the second item I don't know how many items we should do maybe five items diamonds gold 
and do, 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 we could finish on blaze rods. That'd be kind of cool. So the first item you have to get is the magma cream, then that, then that. let's finish on diamond actually. Swap that out there. So it's kind of going up in rankings. And there are all the items. Now I need to go get another magma cream, but we'll sort that out after. Let's make a few more chests and decide where these items are going to be placed. So let's get... We're going to need five chests in total because there are five items. So let's take those. And let's go out here and head back over to where Typhoon was chilling. Let's make sure Ivy's still okay in there. You in there, Ivy? Yeah, chilling down there. I think Ivy quite likes her new home because she's always very cozy in there. You always see um, Casper kind of like out or facing the wrong way, but Ivy just always seems so cozy in there. So that's pretty good, guys. But anyway, let's keep on going over to the Nether Volcano area and let's get one of these chests in. Hopefully it doesn't burn in the lava. We'll try to keep it as far away from that as possible. But let's get in here, because Typhoon really probably shouldn't be in here anyway. This is for the nether dragons. The fire dragons kind of liked it as well, but I don't think a sky dragon would really like it in here. So let's uh, get in here, and this will be the first chest. So pretty much, like I showed you, through the loops, down, plant your first dinosaur, dinosaur, put your first dragon down here, come in, and let's, let's put, um, let's put it over here. Oh no, 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 that's underneath. Okay, yeah, that works. Let's put it there. And let's say, I'm just gonna put these in as placeholders. So there's one each, one for me and one for Tiny Turtle. And once we get that, we're gonna race out the front. Let's see if we can make a, a hole without hitting lava. There we go. So obviously this will be all cleaned up after. We'll put it back to our secret little lair. But let's put one here. There we go. Back out. So we're gonna have to have more dragons waiting here. So I think this is where See, Scott doesn't have a nether dragon. I'd like to do the same ones as we go, but it doesn't it doesn't matter too much. So this is where I'm gonna have, let's say, Sparky waiting for me, and Scott can maybe bring Pyro back down, and Pyro will be waiting for Scott. And then we need to go off into the air again. So let me get Sparky and see where we're actually gonna go. Give me that lead, Sparky. There we go, good job. And yeah, that's all right there. So. When we get off, we're gonna come out here. So I think we should have to fly back up. There'll be a few more loops to go through. And maybe come down. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, here's an idea. Gonna have to come down and land on these pedestals. One pedestal each, whichever one you can get to. So it's only these first two. So let's say, Sparky, you stay there. You're already sitting down. You're already lying down. Good job. So yeah, either this one or this one. Whoever gets here first can obviously take this one because it's gonna be closer to the waterfall and that's where we're gonna do the next one. You're gonna to have to come over, land, and then we're gonna to have to climb the waterfall. So you're not allowed to fly your dragon up it, you need to climb it. So let's get in here and see how slow it'll be. Yeah, this will be good guys because you need to kind of work your way around it a little bit as well. And try and push your way up to the top. Oh, can I make it up? Can I make it up? I'm gonna make it up. So we need to get up onto this one and then we'll have the second chest here. And let's just put these here as placeholders. Let's pretend that's the second item. Now, ooh, okay, so what we do then is we jump backwards. This is cool, guys. This is working out. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. But um, we come back here and there's two more dragons waiting here. So let's say I then take bubbles. And let's take bubbles now. So all my dragons are gonna be in the wrong place, but it's cool that we can kind of make this game up as we're going. This fun little treasure hunt at Christmas time. So, let's get Bulls then up, and hmm, let's, let's maybe fly out this way, and get some loop-de-loops going, through the hoops, and then back in. I think that'd be pretty cool. So you have to go out and come back in, and then the third item is gonna be, I don't think we'll actually use Sub-Zero's pen. I don't see how we could make it like hard to get. I think what we'll do is come down and we'll probably land in around here. And then this is where you leave your third dragon. And we'll go up into the library, guys. Oh, spider's not really happy with me. Ow, there we go. So we'll go up into the library and we'll make the librarian have to give us, oh, we could ask, he could ask a question if we get it right, maybe, that then we could get the item. That would be pretty cool. So let's say the third item is off James, the librarian. 
So then we'll come back out and we'll go around to the grave. And we'll have the two ghost dragons wait. Okay, this is working out. Cool. So this is where Casper and Ivy will be. And they'll be waiting here. And do, do, do. we'll have to fly up into the air. Where will we go? You see, I don't have dragons with me now, so I can't. I need to go back and get a dragon. That was silly. Let me go back and grab Bubbles real quick. This Bubbles, I think, is the closest. But yeah, it will be the two ghost dragons because we'll be in the graveyard. That will make sense. So come here, you. Little Bubbles. Oh, I have a really good idea. A really good idea, guys. So after we go through that and come up to the graveyard, we'll take Ivy and Casper, we'll fly up, we'll go through a few more hoops, maybe in around here. And we're gonna land, I think we should land in here, in this um, fire desert dragon area that we have. And what we might have to do, guys, is try and trap two of the lucky dragons and have their drops be the next item. That would be really cool. So you have to come in here, you have to fight, oh, these guys really don't like me. You're gonna have to fight two lucky dragons, get their items, come back up and go through more loop-de-loops and go back down this way. And the finish line is gonna be, it's gonna be down at the bottom. So maybe we'll just do the four items, that could be pretty cool. Oh, finish line will probably be up here. So yeah, probably have to go through some final hoop-de-loop and land maybe in here or maybe up here. Up here is probably better when there's no balloon. Yeah, up here, well, that's what we'll do. And this is where we finish. So that's gonna be a really cool and epic mini game race. And that's the plan for one of the games during Christmas, guys. If you like the idea, be sure to leave a like on the video. I think that'll be a lot of fun with me and Tiny Turtle and all our dragons having a race. It's the first time we're gonna prove who has the better trained dragons, like whose will be faster, whose will be quicker at moving, and we'll really see who's gonna win. So guys, let us know in the comments, who do you think's gonna win? And leave a like if you enjoyed the idea. Don't forget the t-shirts are now available in the description, guys. But that's gonna be it for today's episode. We'll see you soon for more, and thanks for watching.